Hey all you cool cats and kittens. I can't say that with a straight face. Given the current situation, I thought it might be fun to put together some challenges for y'all to try at home. In this video, there are eight challenges and they gradually get more difficult, so see how many you can complete. If you're watching this on thepursuitersquatch.com, you can also enter the number of challenges you do complete in the input below. All right, so let's start with level one, 100 backhand bounces. For most people, this should be pretty easy. Simply bounce the ball on the racket face 100 times in a row. Moving on to level two, we're gonna do the same thing except forehand bounces. So again, 100 before you move on. With level three, we're gonna again take things up a notch. You're gonna do 100 bounces, but this time alternating which side of the racket face you use to hit the ball. Level four, 100 backhand bounces, except adding cut to the ball. For this challenge, try and keep the ball spinning in the same direction by cutting it as you bounce it. Now, as you can guess, in level five, we're gonna do the same thing, except on the forehand side of the racket. So again, Keep cutting the ball and keeping it spinning in the same direction. Level six, 50 bounces, alternating direction. So it's time to start making things a bit more difficult. Again, cut the ball each time you bounce it, but this time alternate the direction of spin with each hit. The spin on the ball should reverse each time you hit it. Level seven, 20 bounces alternating between the strings and the frame of the racket. Now with this one, you really have to watch the ball. Alternate bouncing the ball in the air using your strings, and then, as I mentioned, the frame of the racket. All right, time for level eight. 20 bounces using only the frame of the racket. Now admittedly, this one is much harder than level seven and requires a great deal of patience and focus. If you can complete this one, make sure to take a video and tag me on Instagram. If I get enough submissions, I'll put together a nice compilation here on YouTube to share with everyone else. So with that being said, feel free to leave a comment on this video explaining how many of these challenges you were able to complete at home. Also, feel free to share what you miss most about regularly playing squash. Now it is possible to get better at squash while being away from the court and I'm hoping to make a video about that soon.